The CDC estimates that one in 59 children in the U.S. has autism spectrum disorder. I asked Dr. William Nichols about autism. Autism, I don't believe, has really increased in incidence. The diagnosis of autism has increased in incidence. Since I've been practicing, which is approaching 30 years, it's much more commonly diagnosed, but we had no treatments 30 years ago. So if the in increased diagnosis of autism has made people look for reasons and causes of autism that probably don't exist. The main cause of autism is genetics. You are born with a predisposition to be autistic and the definition I like is if you look at an autistic spectrum. It is a large range of symptoms from very mild to very serious. The therapies that are available are primarily occupational therapy and speech therapy uh, and it just allows the child to be able to communicate and interact better. What are the symptoms of autism? Usually it first comes up in the late toddler ages, you know, around age two to three. If a child is not interacting appropriately, uh, not with other children, but more with caregivers and parents. That's the whole point of well child checkups is because at that point, whenever I see a 15-month-old, as much as worrying about whether they have heart disease or lung disease, I'm more worried about their development and how they interact. Because almost all children have normal heart and lungs, where a significant percentage have developmental or behavioral issues that need to be addressed. And the earlier you address them, the better. You also, at this time, need to stress that immunizations don't cause autism. It is well established in the literature, period. There is no increased incidence of autism with immunizations.